What's up, everybody? Hi. My name's Rainy. And I'm Ben. And this is Iggy. That's Iggy. Iggy <laughs> She's 18. And this is the Journals of Awakening. She's my baby girl. Today, yeah, my baby I girl. wanted to tell uh, Ben about something I learned. Ooh. So. Something learned. Jackson Galaxy. Yes. Cat Daddy. I know, because a cat daddy, <laughs> baby. He's a daddy. <laughs> Yeah, he isn't, he isn't unattractive either, so that it's good, you know? He's what? He isn't unattractive. Really? Yeah. He's, I, he was kinda, I think it's the vibe. So he's got a cool vibe. Cat daddy, yeah, he's, cool he's like a rock star. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's like a jazzy, smooth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Charmer, huh? And I just caught the premiere on YouTube, and yeah. I didn't expect it. You know, I was like, I'm going to see if he's in there. All right? And he was. I, I mean, it could have been his team, but it could have been him too. And uh, it was... Is my cat? You're good. Is it a cat? <laughs> it's just a cat. Sorry. No, she gonna get all mad. So it was. Um, is like how much? No, put her down. Yeah, don't go in there. The topic was how much should my cat weigh? So he starts with saying that every cat is different. Every breed is different. The average mutt breed is pretty much between 8 and 10 pounds. Uh, and Maine Coons can be up to 25 to 30 pounds. That's huge. Yeah. But he was going through. So a way to see, I learned that the way to see if your cat is a good size if is if you see their body and there's a little V and then their hips. Okay. So from the top, you know, you see their body, it hits the hips and it dips in a little bit. Okay. Uh... And I thought that's really interesting. That's how Iggy is. Yeah. Yeah, like I you mean, can't she's see her. In shape? Yeah, like she she weighs fine. She's healthy. She looks a little big. But, but that's just around but the not belly. Un, but not unhealthy. Yeah. yeah. So I thought it was interesting because I uh, I want to look at all the other cats from above. But he was also saying that cats have a primordial pouch. You see Batman's primordial pouch. Oh, okay, okay. The little, the old lady wings. Yeah, right? so those are fat reserves. So a wild cat can survive like a day or two without food because of the fat reserves. But it doesn't. Batman's got fat reserves. Yeah, but it doesn't mean that he's fat. He's not. It's just the way he's yeah. built. So basically, when he stretches out, those are used to help his body stretch out more. So he is part of some kind of breed. <laughs> that's like active and jumpy you know like yeah. bangles stretch really far that's what that's for he is a long cat yeah he's the biggest cat we got and yeah we got him as he, a baby he is big <laughs> i can't even believe it and i just uh i thought it was interesting because he also said he was trying to tell us us the crowd 1.1 thousand people while watching it live um <laughs> right now 1100 people on the premiere Oh, I thought you were talking about mine. No. I was like, oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jackson Galaxy uh, had that. So give it a I'm a zaddy, but not a cat zaddy. All right. <laughs> That's not true. You're definitely a cat zaddy. That's right. But he was saying that, so it goes raw food, number one best food to feed them. Second is wet food, grain-free wet food. Okay. And then dry food is at the bottom. Dry food is all carbs, but you know what? Cats, carbs are bad. They don't okay. have what it takes to burn them off, which means if you can help it, dry food should not be in their feeding routine at all. He also said it really doesn't matter if you feed them five times a day, but free feeding isn't good. And always play with them before you feed to make sure that they're not just like bored and then eat because <laughs> yeah. they're bored. Yeah, that's uh, that's Mog. Yeah. That's our big orange tabby. He, he I thought it was bored. interesting because I never <laughs> thought about a raw food diet, you know? In all yeah. of my cat from hell, I've never heard him say that. That's a raw really food diet. interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, Maybe that's just one of those things that's controversial. So he didn't say it because there's... But he did because it was live, you know? Maybe. Well, Maybe he, it was a slip. He wasn't <laughs> live. It was just a premiere. But he was oh, commenting. Oh, I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it was pre-recorded. Wow. Yeah. And that's what he, he said. Uh, I Just read like your these guys' shows, guys. comments. They're pre-recorded. So I comment. Yeah. <laughs> We're not live right now. <laughs> right, he, Why won't you answer my comments? <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I commented and I said, can you cover Pandora syndrome? And he said to me, put your suggestions for videos in the regular comments, not in the live feed. 
Yeah. So I did because I've never seen him cover it before. And uh, I think that that's important because a lot of Pandora syndrome is having a lot of UTIs, which can also be a cause for avoiding the litter box if you have UTIs, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, the territorial thing with the cats is mm -hmm. why you have multiple litter boxes. Yeah. You keep them clean. Exactly. You keep them clean. Otherwise, your house will stink, too. We do not have a stinky house, although I don't know. I've had five cats. We live cats. here. <laughs> <laughs> but I clean that crap every day. I every think day. it's fascinating that he said that the most people who ask if my cat, what should my cat weigh, are worried that their cat's overweight. Yeah. You know, having a cat that's overweight it's just america <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's just how it goes it's just you know mm -hmm. that's uh, how we're built as americans uh, what are you gonna do i the dream is uh, now we are broke bitches <laughs> Puff up. but the dream is to and we try and do this anyway is to not see what things cost just buy them because you know they're gonna cost a lot yes and that comes with owning animals <laughs> yeah that's that's one of those things guys that really is like spending not having money but spending a lot of it on expensive stuff because it's better for you yeah exactly i we don't let money control our lives i hate the notion yep. that people don't do this because it's expensive because it's expensive just mm -hmm. know it's expensive and budget it that way right you know stop worrying about the price tag look at what it's giving you just yeah just make so i was just make changes i don't know i was just curious to how, no, don't eat that. She's eating carpet. I know. <laughs> I'm just curious to how much it would cost to do a raw food diet and how. Like She's back to the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> like, do they make canned food that's, like, raw food, you know? Like, make sure there's no... Stop it! <laughs> bacteria in it? I don't have any idea. I was idea, also thinking nor do I that trust we spend, company. like, $25... Um, 55 to 60 dollars a month on cat food half of that is dry half of that is wet that's not bad at all we have five cats no i know yeah but i'm just like why do eat we, well why do we rachel give them, ray why do we give them dry food at all you know maybe we should slightly increase the budget make it only wet food and just better wet food or just do better wet food period and keep the dry food routine and the only reason we got Rachel mm. Ray is because everything else was out of stock. <laughs> I was trying to get a sponsor, she's yo. Not, <laughs> she's not actually, like, I don't think she's actually, like, any better, but I didn't closely research. I just made sure there wasn't dye in the food. But the thing with cats is they don't need carbs. The only carbs, he said, and, you know, he is the expert, that they should really be eating is found in the greens that they eat, like, wildly. Like cat grass, you know? Yeah. So if they're outdoor cats and they chew on that, that's where they're going to get those carbs that their body actually needs and not the stuff that makes up an entirety of dry food. Well, that's something to think about. I mean, same to dog. The dog food is, uh, it's meaty dog food, right? It has mm -hmm. meat in it. Yeah. And then on top of that, we mix it with half vegetables. The vegetables is important. You know, I actually saw a TikTok. He never had one in his life either, but I, he eats them now. Like, oh, nothing. it's great. He I saw like, a TikTok he looks where, at me, where this I just vet was food. like, I'm going to give you a perfect alternative <laughs> to treats so that way your dog never ends up in my office. And he said that big, large, raw carrots, uh, roll, them in, <sighs> roll them in chicken broth and okay. freeze them and give it to your dog. And that'll keep them busy, and they'll love it. And he's like, and that is 100% guarantee he will not end up in my office because of treats. <laughs> because, Interesting. yeah. And I thought, yeah, that's really easy to do. If you, Yeah, the chicken broth thing, but we tried carrots. He didn't want anything to do with that's, carrots. He did eat some. Well, he eats them, like, if they're canned. But he loves moist. ice. Yeah. And he loves chicken broth. That's true. So imagine if we rolled them in chicken broth and froze them that well, way. Where do you get chicken broth to roll a carrot in every once in a while? <laughs> chicken broth is cheap. <laughs> I'm just going to drop a bottle of chicken broth yeah, and roll so a carrot like, in it. <laughs> picture like a bowl or like a tray, like a freezer tray. Yeah. Fill it with carrots, fill it with broth. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think, it, I think it could be. We're always, the, the point is. I don't. What? Sounds like too much. 
Like, it's just doing too much. It's just doing too much. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, you buy him a pretzel, you smear it in peanut butter, you just tell him he's a good boy, and then you, you yeah, pat him on the so head. Yeah, funny, because if you refresh, if you pull that red line, or whatever you're watching this on back, you'll hear how Ben is like, that's interesting. We should give that a shot for the cats. <laughs> and then you get to the dogs. I'm like, dog, like, that's a lot of work. <laughs> he gets and vegetables. You will see right there. Why? After Meatball passes in like 10 years or so. That's the last dog. That's the last dog. I mean, I love animals. I love everything, but I'm not a dog need, person. I'm yeah. not, I love animals too, but I'm not going to go own a javelina. You know, <laughs> I'm not gonna get a pet bear. Right? Yeah, exactly. You just admire them. I don't know what it takes to raise a bear. You know what I mean? We that is. I'm not even very good at meat. hugging. You know, it's like I wouldn't even know the first thing to do. What, what would you even teach a bear? Exactly. Exactly. We are cat people. That's right. We really put effort into keeping our cats healthy. We do our best, and I. I yeah. Glad she's living I, her best, healthiest life she, she ever is. has. She's happy, and she she goes. She runs outside. She she's goes, outside every single day. We stopped it for a while. When I met Ben, I said that's not happening, and it was mainly because we lived in the city. We lived in the city. It's dangerous. And so yeah. when we came back here, where she grew up, actually, this is it was like I she knew her. exactly where she was. This is her home. She doesn't leave the yard, and if she does, she sneaks out all the way out of the yard, and then we see her, and we're like, "What the fuck are you doing? You're 18. <laughs> Go back inside." And then she stays inside for the whole day and she hates it. And then she doesn't leave again. But she goes outside now and she <laughs> is so happy. She walks, yeah. She's, we she's she just was, being lazy right now. We thought now. <laughs> last winter she was going to die. We genuinely thought We, we literally thought did. Her, she was we coughing thought, all the time. She was miserable. She was <sighs> She like wasn't driving. ever leaving the room. She couldn't walk very well. Yeah, we no joke. We started letting her out again. Upstairs. She does. She barely coughs unless it's nighttime. She came back to life. It's ridiculous. Yeah, if she moves all the time. She's. It's. It's. Is she mad? She, you she mad don't want to be on the table. You don't want to be on the table. What? You hear? Yeah. What? Well, she's not happy. She doesn't want to be on the table. She's a lot of talk, though. She doesn't mind. Oh, she, yeah. She, <laughs> she, she will not hurt Ben. She period. hisses at everyone. Too. Everyone. Yeah. And it's because her happy place is outside. Yeah. I mean, if she's not outside, she's sleeping in this bed. And then she wants back outside. And I just, I'm so glad we're able to give her her best life. Because people say, what if she dies outside? At least she dies happy, you know? She dies That's happy. That's the thing, is that yeah. when you see... When you lock them inside. She was dying inside, guys. No yeah. joke, she would not be here today if we did not let her outside. And it varies cat to cat. She doesn't leave the yard. Yeah, she's Neither a Neither does my 10-year-old cat. He doesn't leave the yard. But the last time he got outside, I feel like he got sick from something. So I haven't let him out since. <laughs> I love that she just came out to join the party. <laughs> and then we rescued a stray, Bravo. And I got him harness trained. So I haven't taken him out in a while, but he definitely needs it. Two years later, I'm allowed to pet him now. Yeah, <laughs> barely. Barely, ja yeah. Jackson Gal, we only had him for like 15 months. <laughs> yeah. Jackson Gal, he did live says outside that of our exercise house is the months. most important thing. Yeah. And getting him harnessed or leash trained is extremely important if you can do it. Because outside is the best for cats, mm -hmm. but not the safest. So if you have the time to dedicate to putting Bravo in a harness and taking him out, you should do it. I mean, you think about it. Best is what's best for us humans, too, is being outside. Yeah, exactly. But no, we're conditioned to where we need air conditioning and heat. I know. But really, mean. we should be under the stars. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I just, I will always work to make these cats healthier and happier and live their best life, you know? Absolutely. I love cats. Cat people for sure. We got cat trees. Cat people for days. Cat claws. Toys everywhere. everywhere. I, I, it's because I keep buying them. And that's <laughs> she like, keeps buying them. Why do you keep buying toys? And then uh, our neurodivergent cat is going batshit crazy. And I blame all the damn catnip she's bringing in the house. Yeah, but you know, then she started playing with the springs. Maybe she's... And then she started eating a carpet. She's just like that. <laughs> You leave Indica alone. <laughs> Indica. <laughs> Iggy. Iggy, you want to say something to the people? Iggy. I'll take that. She said. And on that note. We thank you. Peace. Peace.